stop. Now, before you say that this video is clickbait and you skip it, or you go to my comments talking about that this is clickbait and it's just not true, let me share my experience with you by telling you a little story. The year was 2022. Mr. Tech Dad was working in the behavioral health field. He was enjoying his job, but he wanted something more. He always thought about working with technology. So he learned IT support with Google, completed the course, got the certificate, and then he found coding. What's this? Python? Hmm. Let's play with this. I start doing a little bit of coding with Python. I build a robot that can move through a maze. This is amazing. I want to do more of it. I'm on Udemy. I'm working through a course. Then I found out about front end development and free code camp. I start working with HTML and CSS. I made the little penguin that waves. I made the cat photos landing page. I made my own personal portfolio landing page. I was off to the races. Now that I had the ability to learn by coding and watching things change on screen, things had changed dramatically for me learning how to program. And I decided I wanted to go all in. The job market was starting to turn. The job market was starting to get worse. People were not getting jobs like they were the year before. This was the end of 2022 when I started to learn HTML and CSS through Free Code Camp. I started my YouTube channel. I started making videos to document my journey. I had huge dreams of becoming a real software engineer and working for a big fang company. I had dreams of remote work, high pay, freedom. I could see it. After about three months of studying HTML, CSS, a little bit of JavaScript, playing with landing pages, playing with CSS, I sold my first website. Now, granted, this first website was to a friend of mine who owns a business. I built him a landing page for his business. As you could tell, it wasn't beautiful, but it worked. I didn't think nothing of it at the time. I was so focused on putting on golden handcuffs in order to validate myself. So I focused on how do I get a job? How do I get a job? Nothing came. I worked hard. I networked. I kept learning. Nothing happened. I then get an offer for a behavioral health company. I go work there. They put golden handcuffs on me. I'm making really good money. We're investing. We're moving up in our life. I'm hitting the stock market. I'm making all this money. And then something happened. I got reinvigorated to get back into the coding. I got reinvigorated to start learning how to code and to pursue the goal and dream that I had late 2022. As I said, I was making good money. I'd done well in the stock market. We were in a different position than we were a year before. And I was able to quit my job and go to a full stack, full time boot camp with Tech Elevator. I thought this was going to be the last push over the hill. I thought this was going to be what I needed to get my first software engineering job. So I did it. I excelled. I knew a lot before I got in, so I didn't learn a whole lot, even though I did. But I, I was ahead of the class because I had already been studying for a long period of time. I had built a few different things. I'd gotten some certificates on free code camp and then class ended. I've been networking. My YouTube channel is doing well. All these different things are happening. I'm like, there's no way I don't get a job. Here we are. Four months later, and I still have not gotten my first programming job. And mind you, I've been at this since 2022. I've been applying, building my resume, building network, building a community, still nothing. Well, during my boot camp, somebody else needed a website, something simple, HTML and CSS. I'll do it a couple hundred bucks. Thought nothing of it. These are super simple. There's no way there's nothing in it, even though I feel very confident with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, especially building static websites, even a little bit of dynamic websites. Can't find a job, getting desperate, can't even get a behavioral health job. Things are tough. I'm scared. I'm trying to figure out what can I do to earn money while I continue the job hunt. Well, let's start building other landing pages because I sold another one. Okay. Well, now you've made over a thousand dollars with just HTML and CSS. Now you're selling websites a little more regularly and you raised your prices. 
Now, as of right now, this might be kind of a full-time gig, marketing, content creation, building websites, helping businesses thrive online. I didn't have this vision in the beginning, but that's where we're at now. The merch shop is live. Please go get your Tech Dad merch. We got code blooded. We got 404 error. We got the Tech Dad logo. And my wife is working on some other cool designs coming soon. Support the channel. Go get your merch. Let me know if you're code blooded. But I say all this because I truly believe that I could have skipped all the other stuff. I didn't need to go to the boot camp. I didn't need to know all these other things. I could start making money and be a real software developer with just HTML and CSS because who defines you being a software developer? A company or you providing software solutions for businesses and earning real money? I think that's the way to go. So I say this because there's a lot of people that's been reaching out to me about what boot camp they should go to, what projects should they work on, what should they do? And I think if I could go back in time and tell myself, what should you do? When you sold that first website back when you were still in free code camp, little did you know that was going to be the beginning of you earning some okay money, okay money, a little easy work, right? A couple hundred dollars an hour sometimes because you can get it done so fast. And now that's kind of the direction we're going. Right. I've sold a few more websites. This has been my best selling week so far. And I see it going further. Now I'm adding more things, logo creation, online presence, marketing, social media. I'll do content creation. I'm getting better with YouTube, I think. So this is to you out there. Dreams of being a software developer out there learning, sinking all that money and time into learning something. Check out freelancing. That is in itself a job. Now it may not be the typical W2 job, but there's plenty of contractors and freelancers in the web development field. I'm sure you know people in your own neighborhood that have small businesses with no online presence and you can reach out to them and you can change that today. And all you need is some HTML, some CSS, and a little bit of Google so you can figure out designs because I'm not real good at designs as I do this but I figure it out. I find templates. I copy other websites. I'm always learning new things, how to host domain management, all these different things. I'm growing, I'm charging more, but I could have just started this with HTML and CSS because that's basically all I have been doing for these businesses. Like I said, it is evolving. There is becoming more and more stuff, but I'm learning on the fly, picking it up. Yes, I can do that. I'll figure it out just like a programmer right? Get in there, break stuff, figure it out. So now tell me in the comments, do you think this was clickbait or do you think I'm giving you true advice? Because this is exactly what I'm doing right now with my life. I have a family to provide for. I'm unable to find W2 work. Although I did get some contract work with a behavioral health company for their marketing officer. And hopefully I can get in and work on their website and do some of the technology side of this treatment center. But for now, marketing and a little bit of content. We'll take it for now. And it's only part time and it's going to pay the bills. So thank God for that. Thank you guys for trying to support me. I did find some employment. So with that being said, yes, I think you can get a job with just HTML and CSS in 90 days because I started HTML and CSS in October and I sold my first website in December. Even though it was a friend, I still provided that friend with a solution for his business just using HTML and CSS. I'm not saying that's where it stops and I'm not saying don't continue to learn and keep trying other things. But what I am saying is you can earn your first dollar as a software developer in 90 days with HTML and CSS. And I'm living proof of that. Thank you guys for watching.